Hello guys, it is hard to tech here and today I'm going to show you how to install mods for GTA 5. <laughs> So first of all, the first link will send you to this website, and uh, it is for the script hook, which is like the native trainer basically. And all you want to do is go down to this and click download, and it will just download. Then I'll give you a second link. You don't need any of like these, the second link, but you do need the first link to download mods. Vehicles do not work the same as like some other mods. So today I'll just show you how to install tools and scripts maybe. So scripts I'll actually go to because tools are like harder. So if I go to tools, there's a lot here, but I don't really, you know, want these ones. These are just the most recent ones. So I'll have to sort by and then I'll go most like. So the first one is open interiors and I can just click on it and then go to down and download again. And I'll start download. I'll go back again and back again and here we are with like all the mods again so i have tried to do this single player snow but it did not work for me when i tried it so yeah i don't know if it'll work for you either you can try it if you really want to but yeah just putting that out there so it may not work so it may work i don't know so then i'm going to download the speedometer as well and just click download and download and i'm just going to put these three so now like right now i recommend making a mod folder because you this will come in handy because if you do not keep tra track of what mods you have you it may be hard to remove them if you want to go online because you cannot use mods when you go online the game will just crash if you try to and you may get banned so yeah i wouldn't recommend trying that so i just gonna drag all of the asi and ini files into it and then i'll just open up the script hook and I'll go to the bin and drag all three of these into there. Now, I once I have all of these in here, I just want to put them into my GTA. Now, how you do that is, I'm going to show you how to do it with Steam. So, normally if you just installed Steam, you didn't make a custom path, which I did. You'll just go to your Windows and then you go to Program Files x86. Scroll down and then around the S's, there will be a Steam. But I, <coughs> excuse me. But I made a Steam drive, so mine's just here. I just want to double click it, it will always open up to something that looks like this. You just go to Steam Apps, then you go to Common, and now it's all of your games. Now you want to go to Grand Theft Auto 5, and then once you get your mods, you just want to drag them in, and boom, goes to Dynamite. You now have mods in your GTA. All you want to do is open up your GTA, and there you go, all your mods will work. I will put the like controls for the native trainer in the description because sometimes you know they don't really show you how to do it pretty sure you can't get the controls for it somewhere but yeah that will do it for today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye